Maine Medical Center is the largest hospital in northern New England and is an academic medical center that provides both tertiary care for uh, at least half of the patients in the state of Maine, as well as community services for our community health needs. At the Research Institute, we conduct research really across the spectrum of biomedical research. The Center for Psychiatric Research within Maine Medical Center Research Institute is a collection of investigators who are all committed to doing research on behavioral disorders and psychiatric disease. There's a long and rich history and tradition of the center having done groundbreaking research in the psychosocial arena. Since I've come to the center, the focus of our research is tending to be more in the direction of biological and genetic research. I direct our Developmental Disorders Program, which is a combined clinical and research program where we are particularly interested in children who have autism and other developmental disorders. Our particular research focus is on children who are severely affected by autism. The ongoing autism inpatient collection study is very important because kids who are very severely affected with autism are the ones we still know the least about because they have such challenging behaviors. By enrolling large numbers of children and doing a lot of measures on them to measure their intellect, their behavior, their communication, we then can look at their genetics and start to try to line up how do the genetics of these children correspond to their ability to speak or their intellect. The Medical Center is the coordinating site for the Autism Inpatient Collection. The overall goal of our research is to develop a comprehensive registry of clinical and biological data for the severely affected inpatient population. We're really trying to describe the phenotype of this patient population to better understand how to form effective treatments. A hallmark of our approach is the blending of clinical work and rigorous research. We feel that there's a synergy between these two. When we ask good questions and think deeply about our patients, they have better outcomes and they help us understand the disorder and help others. A major focus of our program has been on finding ways to intervene earlier in the development of serious psychiatric illness. Maine is a site of a study for early intervention with psychotic disorders, largely based on the uh, experience gained over the past 12 years by a program called the PEER program. PEER program stands for Portland Identification and Early Referral. We're reopening the program to include first episode psychosis and young people at risk for psychosis. The less time someone is psychotic, the better the prognosis over time. If we can intervene early, we can then educate the family at a place where the family's becoming really distressed, as is the young person. We bring families together with other families that are going through the same experience. And it's a powerful intervention that really offers community to the families. And we focus on helping young people function better, and we focus on decreasing stress in the family. We provide community outreach as part of the peer program. Once people recognize what some of those early warning symptoms might be and how to make a referral and who to actually refer to, that makes a big difference. The Psychiatric Genomics Consortium, or the PGC, has been around since about 2007. I think I've been a member almost since its inception. The purpose of the PGC is to conduct large meta-analyses of genome-wide association data. I'm a member of the Autism Working Group of the PGC as well as the Cross Disorder Working Group. We have been finding some very interesting things, such as the fact that some common genetic variants are shared by all five of the psychiatric disorders that we have been able to study so far. That includes autism, ADHD, major depression, bipolar dis disorder, and schizophrenia. One of my goals since I've come here was to stimulate resident research to provide opportunities for residents to participate in and actually lead their own studies. 
In the last 10 to 12 years, we have used uh, ECT in dementia with behavioral agitation patients with uh, significant clinical effectiveness. Um, however, these, this effectiveness has never been measured uh, on a rigorous research basis with uh, methodologies. So we've taken to doing that over the last uh, year. So the principal measure that we're using for safety and for side effects is the Montreal Cognitive Assessment. We're using this to determine if there's any cognitive changes in the patients prior to receiving ECT as well as after the acute series and at the three-month follow-up. For me as a resident, being involved in research is very important. I think that the practice of medicine is exactly that, it's practice. I believe that being able to be involved in research allows me the opportunity to move our field of psychiatry forward in those directions. In psychiatry, there are very few tests and very few biomarkers to help us understand the underpinnings for a psychiatric disease. As we gain a better understanding of what causes these diseases, we'll be better able to design appropriate treatments for them. And really, that's what it all comes down to. We're trying to improve the quality of life and reduce the suffering of people who sometimes suffer with these disorders their whole lives.